When you travel halfway around the world to attend a wedding, you shouldn't be surprised when things are a little different. But we were surprised by just about everything. It's not this kind of what have in your countries. We're Jim and Ingrid. Join us as we leave the Seychelles Islands to attend a fairy tale wedding in Istanbul. We experienced some really hot, humid weather on our sailing adventure and then arrived into Istanbul early in the morning, about 5 a.m., only to find out it was snowing. When we arrived, the weather was about as different from Seychelles as you could possibly find. Weather shock and culture shock at the same time. Upon arriving, we were excited to see this fabled city and all it has to offer. And as we had a Turkish wedding ahead of us, we set out to explore the city's shopping mecca for gifts and treats and treasures. The Spice Bazaar was an amazing sensory overload of smells and colors, not only spices, but dried fruits and teas and coffees and perfumes and all sorts of things that stimulate the senses. And there was probably hundreds of stalls offering similar products. So how do you choose one? When in Istanbul, you must get the Turkish delight. Uh, la ladies and gentlemen, your sample of Turkish delight. We say in Turkey, eat sweet and talk sweet. Very rich and very delicious and very fattening. <laughs> so. yeah. I say we can begin with first the, Tur the real Turkish delight. Yeah. It's not this kind what you have in your countries. Seems that everyone is finding something, or someone, to their liking. This is the city where cultures and continents come together. It's been the center of empires and ideas for thousands of years, where Muslim, Christian, and Jewish religions have all found a way to coexist, and where palaces, temples, gold, and power have reigned. Istanbul is considered the birthplace of the Western civilization. There's no more significant place to build a strong and solid marriage and to bring together two families with deep roots to Turkey, Europe, and America. It's a chance for them, and us, to start seeing the world from a new perspective.
the Istanbul. Really appreciate you have to immerse yourself in it. It's such a culturally stimulating place. Everywhere you go, there was street food vendors, and it seemed like it would cost just pennies to pick up something on the street. The wine, we had Turkish wine, and very surprising, we never had it before, and it was excellent. It's rich, there's music and dancing and food, and just, um, you know, people are passionate about many things in Istanbul. Cruising along the Bosphorus at night was just beautiful. We went under, I think, three or four bridges, and it was about a three-hour cruise. It was quite entertaining, I think, because it was sort of free-flowing drinks. I think everyone was having a fantastic time. Not to mention the belly dancer. Yes, the belly dancer really enjoyed our tables, yes. <laughs> As did the table. Yes. Enjoy the belly dancer. <laughs> yes. Our main purpose for visiting Istanbul was to attend my niece's wedding. And it was a wedding unlike anything we'd been to in our country. It was a fairy tale wedding. It was just everything you could imagine. is quite different. The bride and groom walk down a very long aisle together. The ceremony is very short. Probably only two minutes of ceremony. There are no bridesmaids or groomsmen bridal party. Followed by lots of food. And then about five hours of dancing. And just having fun. Everyone was spiraling around, dancing around the bride and groom, which was really neat and I think that's probably traditional. That was a special way to celebrate the bride and groom and just have everyone participate in their celebration in a fun, festive way. It seemed like the songs, though, just went on and on and on. <laughs> I think a lot of people in our country would probably prefer weddings like that. The food was fantastic. The music was phenomenal. Lots of dancing and it was snowing outside so it was just a picture perfect winter wedding. Everything about the wedding was done to the nines. Everything that, that you could possibly imagine from a wedding. And in the end, our visit to Istanbul also seemed like a fairy tale. In a blizzard.